Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that released in week two of Palace's Winter 2023 collection. Almost up to date, guys. <laughs> We're covering the second week of the winter 23 season. This is the second week in a row that I have not been able to cover on time. Purely just because I had decided to have a trip to Melbourne. Um, definitely week three will be on time. I say that with a lot of confidence, but I can't see why week three would not be done on time. I'm going to like strive to get week three out before it actually drops. <laughs> and well... In order to cover week three, we've still got to talk about week two. I did just do a streetwear talk video talking about the collaboration with Nanamika, which is, well, it did release in week two. So uh, yeah, we're basically up to date. We've just got to cover week two. Let's get into it. So uh, we'll cover the release details for week two, when and where it dropped. Uh, we'll cover the uh, seasonal and collaborative pieces that released in the week and will cover my thoughts and opinions on all the items and the week as a whole. Now, how we're gonna cover all that is by using the Palace online store to cover week two. Moving forward, it will be the Max Merch More Instagram posts that we used to always use. Um, we'll head on over to that store page now and we'll start covering the release details for week two. So here we are at the Palace online store in the new section, which is the section to cover the latest uh, weekly release. And of course, because week two has released, we've got all the items showcased here. Now, to cover the release details quite quickly, uh, week two released um, on the 6th of October on the Friday or the 7th of October for Japan and China on the Saturday. Uh, it will be 11 a.m. Uh, in the respective time zones for the Friday uh, for most of the world, but then it'll be 11 a.m. for Japan and China um, for the Saturday release there on the 7th. Um, that's really all the release details that we have to cover. It's the standard release, you know, time and place and everything like that. Um, if you guys have any further questions about when and where it's dropping, maybe just to get ready for week three or whatever, uh, just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can. But uh, yeah, now that we've covered those release details for week two, let's dive into the pieces and have a look at what we got for the second week. To start it off with, we have the Nanamika pieces being released and showcased first of all we have the huge Gore-Tex fishtail uh parka hooded parka here um I, all in all I really like the Nanamika pieces like I enjoyed them all I didn't have any like issues with any of them I just thought that it could have been a lot more adventurous and it wasn't it played it very safe but like you could catch me wearing any of this collaboration like I'd wear the the knit hoodie over here I would wear the reversible um they called it a down cardigan I'd more call it an, a reversible army liner jacket but I mean each to their own I suppose um we've got you know a coach jacket like the whole collaboration was great it wasn't boundary pushing it wasn't super adventurous but like you can't argue with any of these pieces like they're really easy to wear they're really nice it's a hard uphill battle to fight but yeah i, I kind of i do still stand the ground of i wish they were a little bit more adventurous with it but um moving past the collaborative pieces we have the seasonal pieces moving into that we've got the thermal bonded cap hoodie um it's a very thermal hoodie with a cap that's been like mushed into the hoodie so it's just one piece so you've got a cap on the hoodie there it comes in a variety of different colors um i wasn't the biggest fan of something like this i wouldn't wear something like this but i know a lot of people that could get around something like that we've then got the quarter zip washed uh funnel it comes in a orange a like faded steel gray a navy um, we've got the basically a long sleeve releasing in a variety of different colors. So if you just want a very simple palace branded long sleeve, that's the way to go. 
And uh, moving into our last pieces that we have this week, which is just a sport six panel coming in a different, a uh, couple different colors there, and a Gore-Tex uh, beanie, which I'm assuming it's 3M detailing. Let's click into one and actually see it. Yeah, I assume so. You can always kind of get the idea that it's going to be 3M because it'll have this gray material in it. And it just has that color of like 3M material. And then also the big point in the product photos is that if you click on the photo and you see that, well, that's a very good sign that it's 3M. So if you shine a artificial light on it, it'll reflect back. On the other side of it, it has uh, Gore-Tex, if any of you are interested. But um, yeah, that is everything that released in week two. Um, like, it's, it's, it's a fine week. There's nothing too crazy about this week that I would, like, you know, I have to have or anything like that. But there are some nice pieces. Like, if you just want a simple, basically a long sleeve, it's got you covered. If you just want a nice quarter zip, um, I guess, sweatshirt, you've got that covered here. Or if you want the very simple uh, Nanamika collaborative pieces, week two's got you covered as well. So... Yeah, I mean, I feel like I could walk away with, like, the liner uh, reversible uh, jacket here and be quite happy. But, um, yeah, no, all in all, it's um, it's okay. It's an okay week, too. No extravagant must-have pieces, but some nice basic pieces that you could definitely have and very easily incorporate into a wardrobe here. No problems whatsoever. But, um, yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on week two. You know, maybe you thought it wasn't exciting enough. Maybe you thought the pieces weren't amazing at all. Uh, I'd love to hear any thoughts and opinions you have on week two down in that comment section below. And then that's everything covered for week two, guys. We covered the release details, the seasonal pieces, the collaborative pieces, and my thoughts and opinions on the week. Um, it's a very safe week. It's a nice week. If you just need some nice pieces to very easily incorporate into most wardrobes i would say week two has at least one or two pieces here for you that you could easily incorporate into your into your wardrobe like even mine personally i think i could grab like the collaborative knit hoodie in either the navy or the gray and like a cap and easily integrate that into my current wardrobe so like i feel like there is something here for everyone will i be doing exactly that no, because I've picked up a couple things that I'm going to be unboxing in the next couple videos shortly for you, but <laughs> that's just what my thoughts are on week two. But um, I'd love to have a conversation with you guys on how you feel about week two, but also what you picked up from week two if you did buy something. What did you grab from the week? Did you grab some collaborative pieces? Did you grab just some hats? Did you grab just a t-shirt? Let me know what you picked up down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, upcoming Palace collaborations, um, you've just got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,720 subscribers before the end of October. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. But that's everything I got to say about week two though, guys. I'm keen to dive into the other content that I have um, ready for you guys. I've just got to get through with it and start, um, I guess, editing and uploading it all and getting it out to you. So i um, very keen for that. And I'm actually just very relieved that we're now up to date with our Supreme and Palace releases. And moving forward, I can start covering their newer releases as well. Although there are some other brands that I have been slack on that I need to actually catch up with their releases as well. But I think that's a problem for another time though, guys. But um, yeah, that's everything I have to say about week two though, guys. Um, I hope you're able to pick up what you wanted from it in the size and color you wanted. But until the next Supreme video, until the next Palace video, until the next drop list video in general, I'll catch you later.